Shalom, brothers and sisters. Let's discuss the Moskva sinking because it's a big one and it's important. Okay, it was leading the Russian fleet for all the operations in that area. Uh, photographs posted online early Monday appeared to show the Russian Black Sea Fleet's flagship on fire prior to sinking. Two low-resolution photos taken from different angles showed a large warship, apparently the Moskva, engulfed in smoke and keeling over in open waters. Few details about what happened to the Moskva have been disclosed since it sank off the Ukrainian coast last week, and the images, if authentic, are the first photos or videos to emerge of the stricken vessel. A 186 meter long missile cruiser that was leading Russia's naval effort in the war on Ukraine. The photos of the burning warship first appeared shortly after midnight on a telegram messaging app that positions itself as a Ukrainian signals intelligence resource. It was quickly shared by other telegram accounts and then onto social media. Looks like a legit photo of the Moskva after it was struck by Ukrainian Neptune anti ship missiles. Military analyst Rob Lee on Twitter. While Russia claims its naval flagship sank during efforts to tow it to safety following an ammunition fire, Ukrainian military officials have said it was struck by Neptune missiles fired from Ukraine. It was not immediately possible to verify the photo's authenticity or date of original publication, but there was no immediate confirmation from either Moscow, Moscow or Kiev. It appears to have been taken from a vessel nearby, probably involved in the rescue attempt. Military analysts say the Moskva's loss is not only a symbolic defeat, but a blow to Russia's ability to hit targets in Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Russian Defense Ministry posted footage Saturday of what it said was a gathering of the surviving sailors from the Moskva. There were only about a hundred, approximately, of the 510 crew visible in the video. Russian officials have not given any details about the number of sailors killed or injured during the sinking of the vessel. The sinking of Russia's Moskva missile cruise off the Ukrainian coast is a major blow to the ongoing invasion, according to analysts. Russia has a lot of significant part of its lost, a significant part of its naval capability in the Black Sea and its ability to hit targets in Ukraine, says independent military analyst Pavel. The 186 meter long vessel is the third largest in Russia's active fleet and crucial to the Russian naval power. The only Russian warship capable of carrying nuclear weapons, the Moskva, is one of three Soviet era Slava class guided missile cruisers. Okay, so my first part in thinking on this, because there's two stories the one is the ammunition fire from Russia which makes sense as a cover story if you're embarrassed they let their guard down the other one is the missiles provided by nato that were fired that actually sunk the ship i would lean towards that because why is russia so angry and upset about this developing story and the fact that they lost this valuable asset if it was an ammunition fire and it was something they did then by all means there shouldn't be anger frustration or any tension rising but there's anger, frustration, and tension rising. Threats being made. The words World War Three being thrown out there. I, I definitely think that they had their guard down. They thought they were invincible in this situation. <clears throat> and they were hit. And they lost their ship. These things happen. What are the repercussions of this? We will have to watch in the days ahead. What we do know is we're dealing with an ever-increasingly angrier bear every day. So keep watching and keep waiting. Um, watch how Russia is responding to Israel as well. Because those tensions are climbing drastically daily. Shalom. God bless. See you all in the clouds one of these days.